Hi, I'm Debbie with Designs to Delight. I'm here to show you today what you can do with some items that you may have in your jewelry chest and how you might um, perk them up with some unusual twists and changes that I have for you today. So, so we have our hand model and first I'm going to take out some amethyst chips and these are just strung together on elastic. Um, if you buy them from me, pretty much what you see here is what you're going to get because this is the least amount of fun I ever had. And this is okay, but what if we wanted to give it a little spark? Okay, let's think about the unexpected. How about some lavender ball chain? If you wanted, you could even make um, a little bracelet with the charm on there. Um, you could add some uh, fluorite. This is a, a chip bracelet made of fluorite. And there goes our little lady, lady's hands. And now you can see that by putting these things together, um, we've created a more interesting combination. If you want to throw another little twist in there just for a tiny bit of color, to make it a little bit interesting. There's this little bit of neon pink, and this one in particular has a little uh, breast cancer awareness charm in it. So I think that makes it sort of interesting. You're gonna hear some uh, noise in the background, and that's my McCaw. His name is Santana, and he really likes his name. So here we go. What we used to make that was that, 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 and that. You'll see we may be able to pick that up and use it again in something else. Um, next, let's take some red jasper and um, add a little quartz to it. It's okay. Maybe some tiger's eye. Even if we held it up. Like, it's, it's interesting. It's okay. But where's the spark? Okay, for something unexpected, this is a three millimeter ball chain. You wear that as a bracelet, and then something you really wouldn't expect. See how this gold is almost like a neon gold? And yet, when you just drape a little bit of that into the mix, it actually gives it a little spark that you wouldn't have expected. And one of the things that's fun when you're doing this, if you see these two combinations, this is a warm combination, this is a cool combination, it doesn't cost you anything to throw something on top and see if it does something in something else and maybe gives you some uh, antiqued brass. And maybe if that doesn't, you know, do something else to warm up your combo. So, Never be afraid to try to add something, take something away, and see what you come up with. Move those guys to the side. And next, this is called, this is a beautiful stone, beautiful pink stone called Ryochrysite. We'll add some of that red jasper to it. Again, okay, but probably not, not a hit home. I'm gonna grab one of those little pink cancer awareness symbols and maybe some antique brass and if we throw them all together maybe we've got something a little more interesting than what we started out with when we put it all together my eve um, and uh, here we go these are some check beads and Sarah, you're one of my eBay customers. Um, this is gonna be, this is one I made thinking about you. Has some little beads on the memory wire, just to give it a little giggle. And I found these um, ceramic charms, and I actually put them on to these blue, sort of neon blue, um, but it's sort of an interesting look all together. The lady just doesn't want to stand up. So something to think about there. 
if you saw what I was wearing today, you would know the colors are odd, and they look about like this. Not your usual get up, you know, colors. And, but what could I put with this to make it a little bit interesting? I could accent the black, bring in some gray, add a little bit of the ball chain, the reason the ball chain is going to be important is it could come in to accessorizing it with some sort of fun necklace or some fun earrings that you might want to put together with this. So now again, for very little money, we've created um, something different and unexpected. We're going to bring in some more for Sarah, and this one actually has a little teardrop check bead on it. Uh, again, on the memory wire. Again, they're okay. I'm just going to let the lady get her again. Okay. But what could we do to make them a little more fun? For those with a little the country roots, why not add some turquoise in there? Um, took this one, actually, and it's got uh, some turquoise and malachite with it, just to give it some zing. Nothing wrong with maybe adding a little bit of the, the blue chain. Remember, these things can become interchangeable, and we just want to have fun with it. Um, and speaking about things that can accent, the bracelet that has the teardrop on it, here would be a necklace that would match that teardrop. The, the, the pattern is repeating without possibly fighting with whatever top or whatever that you might be choosing to wear. So always, and again, these are things easy. You come up with an idea, I'll be glad to create it for you. Um, fairy ribbon. A lot of people don't know what to do with it. You can just about do anything you want with it. You can take it, wrap it, tie it around, put it in a bow. What could you possibly add to it? We could add a bows. We could throw in a little ball chain and we've created something more unique, more fun. Going back to our Malachite and the Tiger's Eye that we've used before, putting those together with a ball chain. And again, now because I have this ball chain loose, I could take these and wrap this. And if I were going to take this and make it into a complete bracelet, Maybe I would just wrap it around. But the other thing to think about, if you have this in a necklace, you can do the same thing. That's why the ball chain with the regular ball chain clasp is uh, something that can be used over and over. And here is the ball chain clasp that I'm talking about. And again, I hadn't tried this. Oh, I guess I had tried it. But I really do like it with those blue, um, with those blue beads. Um, these are cat's eye, and if you notice, they can sort of this one gets snugged up. They can go together in a group, and if you want, sometimes what makes a bracelet interesting is adding a little bit different texture to it. So. I've thrown some amethyst on here, and maybe I'll put another little bit, and we've got a little blue in here. You Just enough that's peeking through, if you can just see there where it's not holding, it's not taking up the attention of everything, but it's just a little interesting surprise, and often that's what makes jewelry fun. Um, that's why we let designers sort of uh, run with our lives sometimes because, because they 
they do that kind of creative thinking and they sort of dictate to us sometimes what's going to be in style and what's not going to be in style. And there's not one thing that we've done in here that um, somebody's probably not going to come up with. This is um, Picture Jasper. I think it can make a lovely bracelet, fine as it is. You can reach over and right now I've got two sizes of ball chain here. Um, I do think it's an interesting addition to that. Um, we could also add some agate. This happens to be um, uh, uh, garnets, and we're going to have a uh, good old Maryland thunderstorm here. It's okay, we're on the back porch creating jewelry. What better thing can we do? Not sure that I like the, the burgundy, so I'm taking it out. Although, I do think I like the burgundy over here with the rhyochrysite. So see, it's okay to change your mind, um, to play around with it. You know, if you like it one day, you know, it's not permanent. You have all of everything here is uh, well under $10. And um, all of these things, I guess the most important thing to remember is they can be a staple in your jewelry box. You can pull them out to make an outfit. Here's um, just some clear um, beads and some red beads. Um, let's say that we're going to go all straight out. Can you pull the black over in here? What we used before, we could even throw in some of that ball chain. One of my favorite things to use is um, Swarovski crystals. And Swarovski also makes a lovely set of pearls and the this happens to be uh, a pearl earring that I made on a um, gunmetal ear wire. This is the gunmetal gun metal or black enamel. Um, they can be two, both. Um, but using that, that makes, but that just makes a stunning bracelet and something unusual and unexpected hung on a neck wire like that. Here is um, a stainless steel chain. And this happens to be a labyrinth that I put it on. So it can again, we sort of alluded to before, it can be both a necklace, but if you wrap it around several times, then that could be a very interesting bracelet with a large dangle hanging from it. So this way we keep using and reusing what's in our, um, I just reached over and saw this. I'm not sure if I like that. I might like that with it. But you can see how you can start to have fun. Um, and finally, maybe some blue lace agate. And it's a little dull. So what can we do to perk it up? Back to our red jasper. We can add some turquoise and another piece of that. We could add some silver. We could go back, whoops, we knocked the lady over again. And we might even add some gold. Might add some copper. The point is to have fun with this, not be afraid to make mistakes. Um, and by having some of these staples, in your um, jewelry box, you can sort of see what you have and how to have some fun with it. Thanks for watching.